Good morning everyone. Long time no see. I'm just literally having a little bit of a coffee intake. Um, I got up crazy early yesterday and just ended up like blitzing the house, finishing off my washing and just, just I don't know, just went on a mad one from about seven o'clock. But I was awake from like quarter past six. Um, yeah, it's ten past eight. Obviously, long time no see. I haven't done a vlog in so long. I, I've had such a, a long break from YouTube, um, other than the pre-recorded stuff. Um, but it, it's been well needed, and um, I hope you're doing well. Today is Thursday. We came back from holiday on Tuesday, so we've been home two days now, or nearly two days, I suppose. This will be our second day. Um, and yeah, we brought the sun back with us. It's been so hot here. It's been like, I think it was about 30 degrees yesterday here. It's just been, it's been lovely. And the kids have just been, well, yesterday we had a nice home day. I've been getting on top of washing. I've got a huge, disgusting ironing pile that I just, I'm avoiding right now. The kids are back to school for like three weeks. So I'm gonna just sit on that pile for a bit. Um, yeah, just generally getting back to normal life, cooking. I said to the people on the cruise ship that I'm not looking forward to going home and cooking because everything is so easy on a ship. It's all done. It's just, oh, you don't even have to think about it. Um, but actually, you know, I love cooking anyway, so it hasn't been too bad. I did um, a nice salad yesterday. Not that that's cooking, but you know. Um, yeah, so it's good to be home. Um, it's good to have sunshine here. And I hope you're all doing well. I hope you're having a great summer. Today, um, I thought I would just do a vlog and just see where it takes us. Um, yeah, I said we could go out. The kids really want to go crabbing. So I said we could go to Muddyfoot at Christchurch. It's one of our favorite places to go over the summer. Yeah, we're gonna go crabbing today. I'm gonna pack a picnic. We've got the beach there, we've got the park. We're gonna have a full day out and it's gonna be, hopefully, really positive. Yeah, I'm just gonna crack on and get my breakfast. I've already emptied the dishwasher. The kids are having their breakfast in the lounge. Just just making life easier for me right now. <laughs> just giving in, to be honest. Um, they wanna watch the Book of Life and I've just made a nice coffee. And I think I might, I don't know what to have for breakfast. I might make some eggs. Here's my two beautiful children in their matching PJs. Did you sleep well? Yeah, I had I bake bacon. Ew, that's gross. <laughs> Myla had an eye bogey on her eye. Yeah. One thing that has been requested is a recap of our holiday, and I'm definitely going to do one of those and tell you how we got on and what we enjoyed and what we didn't like and blah blah blah. Um, but I can say is that we all loved it. It was just amazing. I really, really enjoyed it and I could have stayed there an extra three or four days. It was so good. I'm also going to put up, probably before this vlog, I think, um, a bit of like holiday montage. It's going to be literally just of the places that we saw over music. It's not anything fancy, but it's more for memory purposes for myself. So I think that was one Whopper organ egg yolk. Look at that. <laughs> Violet's on the recorder. Can you hear it? Sounds like she's doing jingle bells. <laughs> and Alistair, he learned how to um, whistle while we were away. And now, literally every room he goes into, he's like, <whistles> he's just whistling away. Yep, my morning music. I'm gonna pack a picnic today. Um, I did a bit of like food prepping, that sort of thing. I'm actually gonna share it on my other channel. Um, just, a, just a little bit of like, healthy eating food prepping i'm trying to get back onto the like bandwagon of like eating well and not overeating because when you're on cruises you kind of you just eat all the time it's terrible <laughs> i mean it's great but it's terrible you know what are you doing do we need to pick something out do you want to wear shorts and t-shirt today oh, i want to get this got far too many clothes i took this one on holiday with us we didn't wear it did you she wore pretty much most things didn't you yeah, I took this one. I took the other one as well, which you wore. Daddy's home. Sorry. I've just packed our lunch. It's quarter past nine. I'm dressed. Kids just need to brush their teeth and then I need to wipe their hair and then we can pretty much head on. I don't want to leave 
too early just because it's still working day so you know I don't want to get stuck in like work traffic that would be a nightmare right, we're finally in the car and we're gonna be heading off ah, it's a little bit overcast but it's probably a good thing because if it's too hot it's just not nice is it if you're gonna be exposed it's 9 39 um yeah who's excited me yeah me yeah. Riley that's such an excited face <laughs> <laughs> yeah so we're gonna head on anyway and hope for no traffic the um, roads seem really nice and clear which is really good um, and this is gonna be like a super cheap day out because we've already got all the stuff uh, when we went crabbing a few weeks ago I, I managed to like save for the nets and save for everything so because before we've kind of got a bit manky but they're absolutely fine so um, yeah and I've also got bait as well Graham bought back some bacon so yeah cheap day out apart from parking that's always the most expensive thing at the moment with going out because um, peak season is just crazy expensive but it, it feels like a cheap day out if you're not um, you know paying for your actual day you might get some ice creams but other than that it should be good hopefully the sun appears come on sun <laughs> holiday mode with clothes and everything. I went to the supermarket yesterday and I had like shorts and t-shirt on and I forget that it actually gets really quite cold in supermarkets, you know, when you go around like the chilled aisles and stuff. So that wasn't the best move, but it was pretty hot yesterday anyway. But yeah, still definitely on holiday, holiday heat mode. We've arrived at our crabbing spot. We've actually already moved once because the tide is kind of, the current's taking the um, crabbing nets. But yeah, we're all set up and we've got our lines going. <laughs> it's actually really nice, isn't it? It's really warm. Yeah, it's so warm. It's really it's kind of a bit sticky, you know. Hey, bye. I'm going to check on yours in a minute. You can see how overcast it is. <clears> Lock some yet. water. Ow. And yeah, hopefully catch some crabs. Can you get it? Quick, why are you dropped on? No, I'm gonna put it in the water. I'll show you the crab now. Wait, what's the crab? Was it all? I can grab. Yeah. They're bubbles. Right, we've got another one, little baby one. Picture. Wow, very cool. But lots, how many have we got now? Ow! It's a pinchy one, it's a pinchy one, ow! Well, we got another one, ooh. Look <laughs> right. oh, what a crab done to me. Yeah, uh, feisty one. Ooh, wow. Let's have a look. Whoa, he's a male. They're little, they're little pads from them, like a train or something. It's a male type thing. I only got one at the moment now. Have a look. I only got one. One fell off. Then the others fell off. crabbing and grabbed our lunch and I don't know what time it's actually I think it's after 12 Mommy, but yeah we've been here a couple of hours haven't we? Do you know why this snaps? Because it's plastic. Yeah. When we are yeah we've, we're just chilling. Alistair's yeah. over there he's got his swim stuff on. I don't know what he's doing. He, he likes venturing by the stones and rocks to find crabs and stuff. So I packed, I did pack a little sal a salad for me. Like a chicken, yeah, Violet probably have some chicken with beans and brown, basically a le kind of leftover salad with a little bit of ranch dressing, it's my favourite. Oh, yeah, sandy top. And then Violet's gonna, is eating pizza. I also packed, yeah, I packed a couple of pizzas, it's just like snacky on those, and they're great, just quick carb. And then I've also got some leftover pizza, we've got some veggies, I put some strawberries in, raspberries and we also got a whole box of water coming down there so yeah that's pretty much what we got for lunch 
Alistair is over there. And yeah, I'll probably get an ice cream. We'll probably get an ice cream. I was going to get a coffee, but then I thought it's a bit humid. So, yeah, probably an ice cream. A bit, in a bit, yeah? It's not cold, is it? Hey, are you cold? No, you're not. What have you got? What are they? Can you invite me to buy any um, strawberries, haven't we, bye? And how oh. of the big dish one? Mm. Alice hasn't eaten yet, has he? Too busy playing in the fishing boat. What are we doing on Sunday, Violet? I don't know. Oh, gun crabbing with Clay, Toby and Kurt on the boat. Not crabbing, we're going fishing. Fishing with them? Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Mackerel fishing, proper fishing. Have we bought towels? Yes. Have we bought towels? Yeah. Are you doing Yeah, I saw your swim costume on. Ah. So stony. <laughs> I know. What are you making, bye? The coffee cake. Ah, yummy. I'm feeding Alistair like a little animal. Because his hands are sandy. He needs to eat. Yeah. Um, this is going to be a Look, Look, mummy. Look, mummy. Yeah. Look, mummy. 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 And just a little bit, just a little bit of rain and everyone frantically just starts like moving, yeah. shuffling and like getting all covered. But um, yeah, it seems to have stopped, which is lucky. Yeah. Look at all of mine. Wow, they are beautiful works of art, aren't they, Vine? Yeah? I need this place. And I just said to the kids, oh, should we get an ice cream or do you fancy a hot chocolate? <laughs> hot chocolate and ice cream. You can't have both. Hot chocolate because it's cold today. It's a bit rainy. Everyone's running away. We're going back to the car. It's a bit wet. The rain actually wasn't supposed to come in until this afternoon or like early evening, like five-ish. But um, yeah, like I said, it was been it's been kind of spitting just a tiny bit, wasn't it, children? No, it's not. Well, it's still rainy. A bit wet. No, it's just been spitting. We managed to obviously basically get our full day out. We've had um, about five hours here. I paid for four hours up front and then we were on the beach and then it started like kind of drizzling a little bit. So I said, should we just get some hot chocolate? So when the time ran out and I put an extra hour on, which was kind of perfect timing because now it started raining so badly. But before it started raining really badly, we got into the cafe and managed to get a seat and have hot chocolate. So yeah planned that really really perfectly so yeah the time's just about to run out so we're gonna head on back home we've just got back it's like 25 to 4 we've had such a good day you know when you just the, the, the time just literally flies by um, and everything just panned out really really well um, yeah it's so typical though we get home and the weather is lovely here it doesn't even look like it's been raining at all <laughs> so just so weird it's so typical Hey, Squiggy. Squiggy's actually due to have more piglets very, very soon in the next few weeks. So, um, yeah, that's really exciting. And I'm really, I'm going to show you, obviously, when they're born. Because, like, last year, not last year, she actually had them January. It wasn't the best time. It wasn't planned very well. Um, but, yeah, she had them around January, and it was just wet and cold, and it was just freezing, you can imagine. So this year, well this time, Nishi is going to be nice. It's just going to be really good weather for the little piglets and stuff. So, and she's obviously not no longer a new mum. She's kind of done it already. So hopefully she'll be a bit more careful not to roll on any. Um, the kids are just watching a movie. We put on The Good Dinosaur. I love this film. We've watched it so many times. So watching The Good Dinosaur and then they're playing with um, plus, plus scene. 
But which is a um, and Arlo is a good old school favourite. But right, just got the doggies out. We're gonna take them for a walk. And we got hornets. We got hornets. We think we got a hornet's nest maybe down in the wood there. No, probably in that bird's house. All right, no, not in the bird's house. Um, yeah, I did, did. I just did a little bit of dinner Do prep. Way. I just Careful. peeled and cut some sweet potato. Um, and yeah, we're just gonna go for a little walk. And we've got blackberries. Take the dogs for a walk. Yeah. Actually, you should go see Miss Wiggy first. See how yeah. she's getting on. Hey, Wig Wig. Yeah. She yeah, yeah, that's why she's got so big again. Hey, hey Wiggy. Hello. Are you keeping so cool? Big. She's keeping cool. Alistair, what did you pick yesterday? What? What are nearly ripe? Blackberries. Blackberries. We've got some blackberries. And some blackberries They're were not, ripe. Yeah, some of them aren't though. Look, you see these are not ready yet. I spotted a butterfly. Oh yeah. See it. Oh. Gum. That one's alright. Mm. That one's alright. <laughs> I can't go to get it. Yeah, this says <laughs> it is sweet gum. Is it? Is it wheat? Wheat. Daddy's cut. Oh, we can't sheep in. No, the sheep are on that side, babe. Found chicken. Oh, there is some sheep out here. Oh. Huh? Well, they're not going to go far, are they? And you obviously haven't gone anywhere. Look. The gate's open. Him. Yeah. I got one. I'm sorry, you wish. <coughs> we just pulled out the remainder of our carrots, haven't we? This is our carrots. Oh, well, it's already digging in. <laughs> you hungry? <laughs> I like a cow. I like a bunny. Yeah, I like a bunny. Um, yeah, they're very rooty. You can see. Not too bad though, you know, for the first time, we haven't done carrots before, so I think next time I might use a bigger one of these, like a deeper one like that. This one's a bit smaller. Um, well, that yeah, one. so got, got quite a few carrots. So um, cucumbers, one. we're done with cucumbers. Um, what happened to the cucumbers? They've all been biting off. Yeah, we got quite a few out of them, didn't we? And then we had a uh, black fly. And then my runners are still growing, so my runners, my sunflowers will come to the end but I can't pull too many out because um, my runners have, you know, started trailing up them. And yeah, so they're alright. Pulled out the dwarf beans, they were completely, we used them quite a lot and then they kind of frazzled and just I died out. My kale is, I mean not my kale, my chard just went wild. Look at it. <laughs> it's just gone crazy, it's just basically flowering now. But yeah, we still got some chard on here if we want to use it but basically again what I'm going to do I've actually still got seeds so I'm going to plant that for winter because char usually comes out best in the winter so I'm going to replant that and this is my tomatoes as you can see they've gone crazy we're just waiting for all the tomatoes we've got so many to go they're all flowering still we've got so many to turn orange so and pulled out the kale pulled out the broccoli because while we were away, well it's before we were away to be honest, we were spraying them, we had to, but the caterpillars basically just completely demolished them while we were away. So I'm gonna replant them. I've got again I've got um, seeds to redo it for winter and broccoli and kale are good for winter as well. So yeah, you alright? I'm gonna eat all these carrots. I'm gonna plant more potatoes in there. What should we plant in this one for over winter? Not sunflowers for winter. Maybe we do some like parsnips or carrots again. <laughs> Actually, been cracking on with dinner and sorting out the carrots. So we're having sweet potato and then I'm doing spring chicken, which um, whoop, the chicken and the bacon are currently cooking. And then I had some. It's basically like a frozen dinner because I had some frozen chicken thighs and frozen leeks. And I brought a bottle of cider. It's just a really simple dinner, but it's really tasty. It's a Nigella Lawson recipe. Yes, Rolu. I've got gap. Yeah, you've got lots of gaps in your teeth. And that gap keeps getting the carrot in. Oh. 
whoopsie. Yeah, I've sorted out all the carrots. Although they're quite small and like funny shapes and stuff, these are great like snack size for the kids. So I'm gonna pop them in like some sort of bags and stick them in the fridge. Just adding the cider in. This was a one from Lidl. I think it was 85 pence. It actually tastes all right, which is good. Basically, you just, um, you know, cook off the alcohol. It's a really low percentage anyway. Usually I buy at the 0% or 0.1% or whatever, but obviously in Lidl, they don't exactly have much choice of like, you know, like compared to HO. So I just thought I'd work with that. Why did I decide to um, cook a hot dinner on a really hot muggy day? I don't know. I don't know. Ugh, I'm getting all flustered, it's nearly done. I'll put the spinach in last. Graham's going to mash me sweet potato. <coughs> yeah. Hot, sticky isn't it? It's like sticky. Dinner is done. Been having dinner a little bit later than usual, haven't we? Getting back into routine and just how we feel. Right. What's your drink? You get it. You get it. Your You're drink. closest. Your drink. Get it. Go on. No, you Go on quick. You, get. you look very hot. I'll just clean up the aftermath. I'm actually going to steam up the floor. Everybody's in the pool. I always get the crap job. I'm joking. I actually really don't mind, but you can see. Let's <laughs> get in the rubber ring. You having fun? Yeah? Next job, tidy up the lounge. Ugh, never ending, I tell you. Are you having fun? Yeah. Having fun? Hold hands. Hold hands. It's lovely. Hold it's quite nice when it's in the shade, actually, now, isn't it? Come on, slide. Oh. Hey. Seeing as the decking's wet, I'm going to stand back. Right, that's your last one. Violet's last one. It's time to get out, okay? Whoa! Right, that's it. No more. Well, the kids are finally in bed. Um, I'm finally asleep. God, they have been little pickles tonight. Um, yeah, I'm going to edit down this vlog. I'm going to watch some trashy telly grams at quiz tonight. So, yeah, I really hope you enjoy this video. I'm going to do a couple more, hopefully. Um, if you want me to and yeah I will see you all soon